Hey guys, welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial. I am Ashish. So this is part 29 of this video series. Before proceeding, please watch part 28 in order to create a login page. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna discuss about the client side validation using jQuery. Okay, so before starting, please do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed. Okay, in future, I'm gonna publish a lot of exciting videos on ASP.NET MVC. Okay, so Let's get it started. So here in the previous tutorial, I have just created this form. So let's have the view of it. So here user can enter his email ID and password and can log in himself. Okay, so here, if you notice that I have used this registration view model. Okay, now I will just create a separate view model for my login page. Okay, so right click on this and add a class that is login view model okay and if you see that my registration model contains this properties okay so I'm just gonna copy this email ID and password that is required for my model and I will just paste it so I have just created this model because uh, I'm gonna apply some validation here so that's why I have created this so I don't want to put any impact on my registration view model okay so now instead of using this I will just use this uh, login view model and and also if you notice that I was just calling the login user method so here I was just passing this registration view model so I'm gonna replace that okay so I'm ready to apply the client side validation okay so I have two method to do that so in my first method I will just check the uh, whether this text box contains the null value or not and do some action according to that okay so just copy that and here just put where paste and I will just check the value of my text box so I'm gonna access with the ID dot val okay and for password just copy that and password okay and now I'm gonna check if email ID equal to equal to empty or email ID equal to equal to undefined okay then this case I will return false okay and and just display this alert message alert please enter email okay and again I'm gonna copy that for password I just need to display that so password so just paste it here and paste it here and also paste it here okay so now let's run this so I, I'm not gonna recommend this method because it's quite lengthy suppose if you have a lot of text box then you just need to uh, check the empty value for each text box okay so here you go now I'm gonna click on login button so please enter email okay so let's see 
and now again I'm gonna click that so please enter password okay so this method I will not recommend because it's very lengthy and uh, and uh, most of people use that use this uh, prefer to use this method but I don't recommend that so just forget this okay so I'm going to uh, use the second method so which is very uh, efficient and uh, quite simple okay so you just need to follow few step few steps that is first go to your model and like uh, the server side validation you just need to put required validation okay just right click on this and resolve that and inside that just write error message equal to please enter email okay and copy that and paste it here password okay now second thing is that you just need to display your message so at the rate HTML dot validation message for my email so lambda expression m dot email id okay and now just write the empty first message as empty okay and now paste and use password control kd okay and in your jquery you just need to do uh, you just need to put one method to check uh, whether your form is valid or not so if my form that is this form dot valid okay so this this method is going to check whether my form is valid or not and I will return false if it is not valid okay so that's it but you just need to put the reference of these two file okay this jquery.validate jquery.validate.unobstressive okay now run this and let's see what's gonna happen here you go now I'm gonna click on this login button so here you can see your validation message please enter email please enter password and also you can see uh, the text box border is red okay now try to enter Ashish so now it's okay and password okay now you can submit your form okay now I'm gonna apply the email validation so for applying this I will just uh, use this so I have just uh, the template I will just copy that and this regu regular expression will check whether the email ID is valid or not okay so I will just provide it to you okay so that you can also apply the server uh, client-side validation okay now this time just run it and let's see what's gonna happen here so I think this is the very 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 simplest method here you go now I'm gonna click on this and I will just write Ashish at rate okay so you can see email is not valid 
again gmail email is not valid and now I will just write this comms so now this time email is valid okay now I will write the password and submit that okay so in this way you can apply the client side validation using jQuery so previously I was just uh, submitting that form form uh, directly by form dot uh, by directly clicking on that button okay now on my button click I was just calling this method login user and using jQuery I am supposed to submit this form so I will apply this valid uh, this uh, form validation method okay so hope you understand this so make sure to uh, include this to file don't forget to include this file because uh, it's uh, not gonna be working if you don't include that and uh, also you just need to put validation like uh, uh, required and regular expression all that okay and for displaying message you can use this validation message for okay so that's it all so I'm done here so if you like my video then give us a thumbs up and if you have any query then do comment and uh, please share my videos have a great day thank you very much